Hey guys, so it is Sunday and I am making a bigger dinner today. I'm making perch, frying some perch, and I am making baked beans, green beans, and then also potatoes. And I uh, microwave them and then season them a little bit, chunk them up, just cut them up, and then fry them right after the fish in the same fish grease. And it's gonna be delicious. We're having tropical punch Kool Aid, and yeah. Not a Friday fish fry, but it's a Sunday fish fry. So here's the fried potatoes. There's two layers of those. There's the fried perch. Baked beans and the green beans. And the table is set. when I do dishes because I do my manicures myself I do home manicures so I want to protect my nails at all costs so wearing gloves ladies is a must if you do your nails yourself
so it has been a busy busy weekend a busy busy day uh this weekend what well, today is sunday it's the end of the day it's like um 6 30 in the evening this is the first time i have sat down i'm well i sat down to eat but other than that this is the first time i have sat down it's the first time i've sat down other than sitting down at church and i was still ushering but anyway, um, yesterday was Saturday. Yesterday was the um, 18th, December 18th. I am out of whack with uh, the 12 days of Vlogmas. I apologize. I missed probably three days now. But just got thrown off track. And um, maybe I'll try again next year. I don't know. But I know I will probably definitely not do vlog Vlogmas next year. I've done Vlogmas, which for those of you who don't know, Vlogmas is a vlogging every day for the basically 25 days. First 25 days of December. Um, usually after that, people are like, I'm done. It's past Christmas. I'm done. <laughs> but I did that one time, and I, I believe I said I would never do that again. I would never do Vlogmas again. Vlogmas is not easy vlogmas keeps you up late vlogmas throws you off with other things vlogmas causes you a lot of times to miss a lot of the holiday even though on camera it doesn't look like it it does because vlogmas takes a lot of editing and vlogmas is a vlogging notice i didn't say videos i know a lot of people do videos um and say it's vlogmas but really vlogmas is vlog vlogging means um basically your everyday life kind of thing following you around doing things a vlog a video log um blogging is on the comp online and people blog what they do um so yeah blogging is like logging your everyday life so vlogmas takes a lot of editing because there's a lot of cuts a lot of jump cuts a lot of music in music out some people do extra some people do the basics some you know just kind of jam it together and do it so everybody's different the more elaborate the more time it takes um so it, it just depends it just depends but it, it's a lot of work it's wonderful if you can if you have the patience for it you can do it but it's Vlogmas is just not for me. Anyway, I went all around the mulberry bush to check out the, my weekend and why I miss Vlogmas. Yesterday, um, my daughter's high school tennis coach, he passed away. Oh, wonderful. Well, he didn't pass away yesterday. I'm sorry. His funeral was yesterday. But he passed away um, on December the 6th, and they just had his funeral yesterday. It was a beautiful homegoing service. He was 71. So when Jalen, when he was coaching Jalen, he was in his 60s, about what, 65, 64, 65 or something like that. And he had played tennis in his earlier career and everything. Um, he's been an avid tennis person, uh, just a sports person, period. But anyway, he was my daughter's high school tennis coach and um coached her well he did well with the kid i mean just he was just a family their family he's just was the head of such an awesome family their family was like a unit they just i just love their family um but anyway we were fairly close to not super close you know like that but we had known him for all that time she played tennis all four years um he coached her freshman sophomore and then he didn't coach her her 11th grade year uh that was because he he was saying he was going to retire but oh also his his granddaughter was playing on that team too anyway he was just you know kind of worn out a little bit and he said he's going to retire so in their junior year he didn't coach them they got a coach that didn't know what they that you know they that he was doing and and the kids were frustrated and all that. So he came back in their senior year and coached them their senior year. And, uh, yeah, they did great. Um, they broke a, a record also for tennis. They It was 16-2 and two, uh, was their record. And it awesome. But he was just a one. Oh, my good. I just cannot speak highly enough of him and his family. So anyway, his his wife would be coming to the games. His daughters, he had three daughters. They were, they're my age, <laughs> late in their 40s and early, like 50, 51. Um, like I said, his granddaughter 
So one of his daughters, daughters was on the tennis team and she went to school with Jalen, of course. And it was just, we, we, so we knew them. They would be at the games and all his, his other daughters would be at the games. His other grandchildren would be at the games. So we like know their family kind of just by sitting with them talking or whatever and around in the neighborhood and it's just, we just, you know. So it was, it was a huge funeral, huge funeral. Um, and anyway, so we went to the wake and to the, to the funeral. Um, and then there was a wedding yesterday, uh, someone at our church, um, um, one of the ministers at our church and his wife, their son got married. And because of COVID, not everybody can just come, you know, um, they do seat at our church to try to social distance as best as possible. So they were skipping rows and stuff. So anyway, not everybody could come, not everybody was invited, but they did give us the link to the Zoom uh, to watch the wedding. They, it was recorded, live recorded, and it was beautiful. So I watched that after the funeral. I think we got home from the funeral maybe like a quarter to two. And so we ate, didn't we? Gotten some, um, it's called Jackals, but it's like um, Kentucky Fried Chicken or something like that. And so we got that and we ate dinner. And then I, you know, and then we watched the uh, wedding. It was just beautiful. Just beautiful. Anywho, um, so that um, took maybe until about 4 30. And then um, I forgot what I did after that. I forgot what I did after that. I don't think we went anywhere. I don't know why. The last hours escaped me. I uh, probably watched TV. Oh, my show was on. At, at I think at 8 o'clock, I watched the rerun of the last show. Love Marriage Huntsville. <laughs> so I was doing something in between the wedding time, and then I took my shower and stuff. Got ready, got my snacks ready and all that because, you know, the reunion show was on. So I think I watched the last week's reunion show and then the finale was last night at 9 o'clock. So I watched that. <laughs> it was good. It was a crazy show. But it was good. Um, and then I did something else between 10 and 11. I was still in the bed. I think I was ordering, I was ordering a, a Christmas present online. And then uh, we went to bed. I, I got some of my clothes together for church. Anyway, went to bed and then got up. I did the 8 o'clock. So I ushered the 8 o'clock service this morning. I ushered the 10 o'clock service this morning. And then came home and I cooked. I think I showed that on the blog previously not long ago. Um, I cooked perch, um, homestyle, fried potatoes, green beans, baked beans, and uh, made some tropical punch Kool-Aid. It was just, the dinner was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. I threw that out. <laughs> but it was good. Um, and then after that, I washed dishes because the kids wash dishes. Um, Jalen washes dishes Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Isaiah washes dishes Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Uh, so me or my husband will wash them on Sunday. Usually it's me. Um, and so I, I cleared away everything put the food up away, wash dishes, swept the floor, mopped the floor, came up here because I didn't get a chance to do some stuff yesterday since we were gone all day because the funeral was at, the, the wake started at 9, we got there at 10, the funeral started at 11. So um, anyway, I was getting ready yesterday morning for the service. Anyway, um, so I just went ahead and did a lot today. I know it's, it was supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to rest on Sunday. It's supposed to be the Lord's Day. Forgive me, Lord. But I got some work done. So anyway, like I said, I did all that. I cleaned the kitchen. I mopped. Came upstairs and changed the linen on our bed. Because I meant to do that yesterday. But I changed it today. The linen on our bed. Changed the, the towels. I vacuumed. Um our room, you know, clean the bathroom up, we'll wipe the sink down and stuff. I didn't do an extensive cleaning of the bathroom, but I just wiped it down and just cleaned it up, you know. Um, I'll do an ex extensive cleaning probably Thursday. But anyway, I usually just, I, I just keep stuff up. So I wipe the sink down, wipe the faucet down. I don't like grimy faucets and stuff in the sink and all. Usually after I wash my hands, I wipe up the sink anyway, dry it up and I'm 
if you keep stuff up, it won't get dirty. It won't stay dirty. You know, it'll stay clean if you clean up behind yourself, like, right away. So, basically, the house stays clean because I try to clean up all the time just as I'm going. But I'll do more extensive cleaning. Like, usually, my cleaning day is Thursday. So, anywho, and that's if everything is going all right. And I don't have no surprises. <laughs> And sometimes if it's not Thursday, it'll be another day or sometimes it'll be a little bit on Thursday and then some more on another day. But anywho, house is clean. I have to get our shower. I do have to clean our shower probably um, tomorrow. Do a more extensive cleaning of our shower. Uh, and I think that's it. That's a lot. That's enough. <laughs> we have been busy. And yeah, I am tired. Um, me and my husband are supposed to watch a movie. It's a movie with... Um, Regina King, The Harder They Fall, and I think Idris, Idris Alba, Idris Alba, Idris Alba is in it, and I don't know who else. So we're about to, I'm going to take my shower first, though. It is 6, like I said, about 6.30, quarter to 7. I'm about to take my shower, because um, I hate taking my shower late at night, um, like after we've watched TV or after we've sat around and stuff and you've gotten sleepy and all that and then you got to get up and take a shower to go to bed. I cannot stand that, y'all. I cannot stand that. So I, and they laugh at me a lot of time. My husband be like, oh, we got to wait on mama because she got to, yes, I got to take my shower now. I have to take my shower now because I, mm -mm. and I don't like to go to bed without taking a shower. Me and my husband shower at night. Um, because I, I don't know do, do, if y'all want to answer if y'all feel like answering <laughs> do y'all take sh night showers or baths or morning showers or baths I just think and for married couples it's just kind of been a stickler we take it at nighttime because you know nighttime for y'all married folks you know you could get intimate at nighttime and everything and I just I just could not go to bed and get on my clean sheets either and and then you you're you're just you don't stink necessarily because like I just do I'm not a I don't go outside to work usually but you know you running errands a day you moving around and stuff doing this and not that you stink or have like an odor or anything but it's just like you just mm, from the day from the whole day and then you are married and you get close to your partner at night or you do you know i'm not gonna say everything but y'all know you, you know what you do at, at at nighttime and i'm just like i want to be fresh and then my husband likes that too he he doesn't like to get in the bed without showering and i don't either unless we're just dog sick like just super sick or something like that then but other than that mm -mm, no ma'am no sir <laughs> Take our showers first, and then we get into bed. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But if you want to answer, like I said, y'all can tell me if y'all have night showers or morning showers. Some people get up in the shower in the morning. I just couldn't imagine getting into bed dirty. I just, mm. Anyway, I'm going to get off of that. <laughs> I'm get it off of that. So, anyway, um, that's it. That's it. Uh, I don't know if I'm about to close this vlog out or not. I think I am because I didn't, today is Sunday. I didn't put a vlog up this morning. I usually do a Sunday vlog. Um, I haven't put videos out in like two to three days. So I'm going to try to get this up by hmm, tomorrow month. Now I know it ain't going to be up in the morning, Monday. Um, Tuesday, I'm supposed to do Tuesday chatting, chatting lunch and chat with Tracy on Tuesdays but I'm I'm not sure so either this is going to be up Tuesday the what's the day 19 so this is going to be up Tuesday the 21st or Wednesday the 22nd so we'll see we'll see all right I love you all be blessed y'all if you this is your first time here what y'all waiting on? Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. We are blessed over here at Tracy's Place. So subscribe and uh, hit that like button. I hope you liked the video. Also, um, make a comment. Comment down below. What, if something you liked in the video, something you'd like to see more of, or, you know, whatever. Give me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.